Tonight's reading will be on 1 Kings chapter 10. I decided to read 1 Kings chapter 10 because it was one of the Bible verses on queens. And with the pretty much everybody knows about this whole story about the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. She passed away yesterday. So it's all over social media. So I decided to do Bible verses on Queen. And the Queen that I'll be reading about is Queen Sheba in the First Kings chapter 10. And it is one of many Bible verses on Queens. And it's also the theme of the recent crypto, Bitcoin, coin, Shiba Inu. It's almost close to Shiba. So, anyways, we'll read 1 Kings chapter 10. Queen of Shiva marvels is the chapter theme. First section. Now when the Queen of Sheba heard about the fame of Solomon, because of the name of Adonai, she came to test him with hard questions. So she came to Jerusalem with a very great retinue, with camels carrying spices and gold in great abundance and precious stones. When she came to Solomon, she spoke with him of all that was on her heart. Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing was hidden from the king that she did not explain to her. So when the queen of Sheba saw all the wisdom of Solomon, the palace that he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his counters, the attendants of his servants and their attire, his cupbearers and his burnt offerings, which he offered in the house of Adonai, she was left breathless. Then she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in my own land of your deeds and of your wisdom. But I didn't believe the report until I came and my eyes saw it. Indeed, not even the half was told to me. You're way past the report of wisdom and prosperity that I've heard. Blessed are your people, blessed are your counters, who are standing continually before you, listening to your wisdom. Bless the Adonai your God, who delighted in you to get you on the throne of Israel. It is because of Adonai's everlasting love for Israel, that he made you king to do justice and righteousness. Then she gave the king 120 talents of gold, a great quantity of spices, and precious stones. Never again did she such abundance of spices come as what the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Also Haram's ships that brought gold from Ophir, brought from Ophir a great quantity of sandalwood and precious stones. The king made from the sandalwood a railing for the house of Adonai and for the royal palace, and also lyres and harps for the singers. Never again did such quantity of sandalwood come in nor have they been seen to this day. So King Solomon gave to the Queen of Sheba all her desire, whatever she asked for, besides what King Solomon gave her out of his royal bounty. Then she and her servants left and returned to her own land. Then the next chapter, section theme, verse 14, Solomon's Splendor. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents of gold, besides what was from the merchants, from the traffic of the traders, and from all the kings of Arabia and the governors of the region. King Solomon made 200 full body shields of beaten gold, 600 shekels of gold on each shield, and 300 small shields of beaten gold. 
three minas of gold on each shield. The king put them in the forest house of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made ah, bless me great throne of ivory and overlaid it with refined gold. There were six steps to the throne, and the throne had a back with a rounded top, and there were armrests on each side of the seat, and two lions standing beside the arms. Twelve lions were standing there on the six steps, six on each side. Nothing like it had ever been made in any other kingdom. All of King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the forest house of Lebanon were of pure gold. None was of silver that did not count for anything in the days of Solomon. For the king had a Tarshish fleet of sea with Hiram's fleet. Once every three years the Tarshish fleet came, bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth in wealth as well as in wisdom. All the earth sought in an audience with Solomon to listen to his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. They brought each man his gift, vessels of silver and gold, robes, weapons, spices, horses, and mules, so much year by year. Solomon accumulated chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horsemen, and he stationed them in the chariot cities with, with the king in Jerusalem. Also the king made silver as common as stones in Jerusalem, and cedars as plentiful as sycamore trees in the foothills. Solomon's horses were brought from Egypt and from Keve. The king's merchants would buy them from Keve at a price they imported a chariot from Egypt for 600 shekels of silver and a horse for 150. And in turn, they were exported to all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Aram. And that's verse 29 in the chapter 1 Kings 10. Queen, Queen of Sheba. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And and to note, King Solomon didn't ask God for riches. He asked God for wisdom. So if you want riches, ask God for wisdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord, we pray for the King, Queen of Elizabeth II's family. Thoughts and prayers for their family during this time of mourning. And we pray for all those who listen to this word. Bless them. Show them what they can use, how they can be used by you, on what they receive through this. May they seek you, Lord, for your glory and for the building of your kingdom. In Yeshua's name, amen. Hallelujah.